Hey, my little sunshines, what up? It's your girl, Brooke, here. And today is Christmas Sunday. It is the Sunday right before Christmas. I wanted to read to you my favorite thing from this time of year. So, it is in the Bible. It's Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. So I wanted to take you through this moment and read this to you about the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole empire should be registered. First registration took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So everyone went to be registered, each to his own town. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house of the family line of David, to be registered along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. Then she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him tightly in cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no guest room available. In the region, shepherds were staying out in the fields, keeping watch at night over the flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah of the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in tightly wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in the manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with an angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to the people. When the angels had left them and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem and see what has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. They hurried off and found both Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. After seeing them, they reported the message and were told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary was treasuring up all these things in her heart and meditating on them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen and heard, which were just the as The reason that's so special to me is that that's the story of Jesus being born. And the shepherds were greeted out in this pitch black, dark field, or at least that's the way like my brain wants to picture it, that it was like dark and that this angel came and shone down this light upon them and told them to follow the star. And they followed the star of Bethlehem that shined above all. And they followed it all the way to where they found Jesus in the manger. And I think that is so incredible. They couldn't, there was no room at the inn. Like there was no room. And the only place that they could be put up in was this little manger-like area. And that's where Jesus was born. And that's where the song Silent Night, um, that's kind of what I think of when I hear that song. I think about Silent Night, Holy Night, you know, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child. Like, it's so cool to think that Mary had this little baby. Like, my favorite song of this time of the year is Mary Did You Know. Like, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Like, did Mary know all these things? I'm going to go with probably not. But Mary, but Mary also knew that she was, like, was, did Mary know that she was giving birth to the Savior of this world? We don't know. But it's one of the coolest things. So, yeah. I hope that while you were at church this Sunday that you had an amazing experience. Um, let me know if you guys read from the book of Luke or if you guys read from another uh, book and what book that was. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Sunday. I am going to go a droop.